All righty, so I wanted to talk about the Geo Metro convertible. Um, normally I just kind of do the walk around tour and drive the car a little bit, but I've had uh, a number of months with this car and it's interesting, it's different, it's worth talking about. And moreover, why anyone in their right mind would want to own such a thing as a Geo Metro convertible. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna start off with talking about how objectively bad of a car this is. Um, it does only a couple of things good and it does a lot of things not good. Um, this car weighs like 1800 and something pounds. So it is a disaster as far as safety is concerned. Um, it used to be a hatchback and when they made it a convertible, they chopped all of the structural rigidity out of the car, like all of it. Um, there's not even really any sort of structure between the trunk and the passenger compartment. They just put a vinyl curtain in there and called it a day. And I guess that's what happens when you take an economy hatchback and, well, do an economy job on turning it into a convertible. Um, you take a budget car and you make it a convertible on a budget. Uh, floppy things happen. Um, and that's just not for collision or, or safety standards. That's for going over speed bumps and trying to take turns and such. Um, it has the chassis rigidity of, I, I don't know, a drunk sea cucumber or I, a soggy old flip-flop. I don't know, it's not good, but um, yeah. So it's, it's light, but it doesn't turn well and it's not particularly safe. Um, and it looks goofy as all get out, which could be a bug or a feature, depending on kind of what your stance is on that. Um, and I haven't talked about the wildly underpowered three cylinder engine. Um, it makes every bit of 55 horsepower, or at least it did. I don't know if it still is. Um, it runs pretty well for what it is, but there's just, you know, yeah, it's under 2000 pounds, but 55 horsepower is not doing a whole lot. Um, it is not sporty in the least bit, um, not braking, not turning, certainly not in, in the power standpoint. It does have the five speed manual, which um, doesn't hurt it, but it certainly doesn't save it. You know, there are some cars that, you know, might be a little bit underpowered, but you can kind of do the slow car fast thing and because it's got a decent transmission and can navigate a turn. Um, this has skinny tires, a floppy chassis, and no amount of power is, is coming to save it um, because there's just nothing there when you put your foot in it. Um, so I've described this car to somebody before as the movie, The Room in car form. Um, and it's so bad, it's good is kind of the, the, the lesson here. And um, they don't exist anymore. You can't find them. Um, that, and that's part of what makes this car worth owning. Um, as far as heads turned per dollar um, and smiles put on people's faces per dollar spent, this has got to be one of the highest cars possible. You know, one of these cars, the nicest example you're gonna find the most showroom perfect one is still gonna be um, immeasurably inexpensive. And that's great. So, you know, anywhere I drive this car, cars and coffee, the gas station, whatever, I get people giving me high fives. I get people asking me what it is, where I got it. What is that little thing? You have to tell me about their car. Where the hell did you find that neon jelly bean? Um, and it is wonderful. Um, you know, if you don't take yourself too seriously, then um, this is kind of the car for you. So yeah, I mean, I've taken it to some really high end, high turnout um, cars and coffees here in the Bay Area, and I've gotten nothing but positive attention in it. Um, I've had people come taking pictures of this and utterly ignoring the cars next to it that are deep into the six figure range. Um, if you like making people smile with your car, this is it. You know, and that's another good thing with this car is it does get incredibly good gas mileage if you're into that sort of thing. Um, that's not why I bought this car. There's plenty of, you know, appliance cars that you can get today that aren't one moment away from trying to murder you as far as safety is concerned. You know, if you just want an interesting car to drive to, to downtown, drive around the city, drive around wherever you live, and you're not gonna go on any long road trips or try and cut up some back roads in it, but you just want a fun car in a turning heads sort of way, and you want a car that you can talk about as a centerpiece, um, you have to fill up the gas tank once a decade, 
um, is super easy to parallel park and is a convertible at the end of the day, um, which is actually really nice if you're a place like I am here in California in the Bay Area where more often than not the weather's nice, you can put the top down. Um, it really is a nice place to be. Um, and as I said, it, it gets all sorts of positive attention. Nobody is gonna look at you sideways in this car. It's also pretty reliable. Um, really, there's not a whole lot to go wrong on this car. Um, you know, super something super crazy goes on. Oh no, uh, you know, I burnt a valve. Let me do a valve job. Well, there's six valves, six, that's it. Um, you know, brake pads are cheap. Every component on this car is available and it's cheap and it's easy to swap out. So um, that's pretty much the purpose of this car is to have, um, turn a lot of heads, have a relatively good time at extremely low speeds um, and do so relatively reliably. Um, yeah, so, so simply put, if you're just looking for a car to take to the next local Radwood meetup, to take to your local cars and coffee, to just get around town in, something that's easy to park, put the top down and do it on an absolute shoestring budget, um, this is the car. So yeah, ultimately, if you don't take yourself too seriously, this is a great car um, to pick up and uh, have fun with. And I certainly have. I'm kind of going to miss it. I know my friends are going to miss it. My wife is probably happy to have the spot back in the driveway. So yeah, I'm going to miss this car and I'm probably going to be pretty happy for whoever ends up with it. Um, and, and I wish it ends up in a good home because it's absolutely worth saving. They don't exist anymore. And I'm just uh, happy that it uh, will live on in the hands of someone new. And that would be pretty much my two cents on the Geo Metro convertible.